I've been told my personality can make people uncomfortable, so I have to work to offset that. Humor is my go-to instinct, but every joke is a gamble. Shoes off or? Oh, please, um, walk as is. That guy's wearing shoes too, dude. I was about to ask this man to trust me with <laughs> that his little life. radiator. <laughs> Poor responded to a vague Craigslist post sharing a story about a lie he told his bar trivia team over 12 years ago. I decided to let them think I had a mass degree when I was just getting my bachelor's. Wow. <sighs> Shocker. <laughs> I assume you've seen some of my previous work or? I'm afraid I haven't. Okay. <laughs> um,. Didn't you say your trivia specialty is television? It is, but shows? there's even a limitation on that. <laughs> this conversation's going pretty well. Okay. I, I mean, do you think so? Is it or is it? So good. Everything that's happened so far today, I've rehearsed it dozens of times in a replica of your home with an actor playing you. <laughs> Okay. What? <laughs> Remember a couple weeks ago when the gas company came by because of a leak in your building? <laughs> this is just getting creepy. <laughs> Imagine being that guy. We tried over and over. Hi, hey. Nathan. Hi. Hey. Nathan. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Nathan. Hi. Hi. Oh. What is this? They missed the little radiator. <laughs> Everything that's happened so far today. I've rehearsed it in a replica of your home with an actor playing you. <laughs> wow. 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 You're really sick. <laughs> Planned a day trip for us upstate that was strategically designed to endear me to him and hopefully get him to open up. Did you also rehearse this trip? <laughs> I didn't tell Cor, but I had arranged ahead of time to have the guns loaded with blanks, in the hopes that it would create a moment of bonding because we were both bad. <laughs> we're not good at this. <laughs> but it's nice to have a new experience. Yeah. This guy's weird somehow. Or maybe he's just uncomfortable with this situation. What's the blog called? Cheap Chick in the City. Cheap Chick in the City? Cheap Chick in the City. 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 Cheap chick. Cheap chick in the city. Cheap chick in the city <laughs> seemed to be a bare bones website. The majority of posts were just apologies for not having anything to post. <laughs> I decided to create a blog of my own called Thrifty Boy and offered Trisha the opportunity to write an article for us. Her article would entail interviewing a professional bird watcher for our site. But what Trisha didn't know is that she'd be interviewing her own doppelganger who would be studying her every move. All of this just seems so complicated. Over the course of the 30-minute encounter, our actress had trouble getting a single word in, even though she was the one being interviewed. Doesn't matter really, right? She needs her talking. And talking she does, so... When I saw the trivia bar core frequency, I was overwhelmed by the chaos of the environment. It seemed like any aspect of this space could radically transform the tone of his big moment. I had learned this firsthand when I met Cor. I thought I would look cool, but due to just a slight difference in chairs, I looked like a fool. <laughs> I invited Cor into my secret warehouse to begin his rehearsal. Well, wow, this is the expensive. Is what it is. Can I have an orange juice, snow pulp, and a margarita, please? He thought that greeting Trisha with a drink would help put her in a good mood, since she normally shows up at trivia. <laughs> The hat. <laughs> You're leaving your hand touching hers right there. As a woman, how would you take that if you touched a guy's hand and he just left it there? She could read that as you flirting back. Right. So I had Cor practice some standard defenses. He should just use that hand to grab his drink. <laughs> that would be the easiest way to get it away from her. He grew frustrated that the stress of having to confess this lie was affecting his trivia game. Who cares if you lose the game? You got this off your chest. I mean, it's just one night of bar trivia. Ooh, one night of bar trivia is sacrosanct us. And that's when he told <laughs> me that if it wasn't going well. That's where it hit me. He was an idiot. <laughs> I have two things against me. I messed up a, tri a good trivia night and I um, lied to her. To me, I, I gotta take one of them out the equation. Okay. <laughs> I had gone to incredible lengths to eliminate all uncertainty from the night. And those incredible lengths 
are what's confusing about the show. It just seems too much. And you just ask yourself, why? I guess it's just not funny enough in an obvious way. It feels too serious. Using these casual strolls to covertly implant every single trivia answer into Core's brain. If you ever need to get in, the code is 1789. Like the year the French Revolution started? Yeah. Yes. 1789. I'm not a big summer person. Building's looking pretty tall. It is tall, but it's not the tallest building in the world. That would be the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> it's a hostage situation. Guys, four people at gunpoint. Shot someone in the head on his way in. It's days like these that I curse the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. <laughs> I don't understand why you felt the need to lie about your education. I mean, it's really messed up. It's unforgivable. <laughs> he lied about having a master's degree. I just heard their conversation. <laughs> and the loser of tonight's trivia is Korskeet. <laughs> really rubbing it in now. When he arrived, there was a problem. The table was taken. We had rehearsed for this exact scenario. Um, my grandmother died of like brain cancer recently. Uh, and this terrible thing. Uh, this table here is like a sentimental thing. Um, Dude. What? <laughs> She's not wearing her head. <gasps> Everything ruined. <laughs> when he returned to the table to wait for his pizzas, Trisha wasn't talking. It was the perfect opportunity to begin his confession, but for some reason, he wasn't doing it. We couldn't have seen this coming. <laughs> that she wasn't talking. <laughs> My whole educational life has been like a kind of a fraud. Really? My friendship with you means a great deal, and I don't want you to think that I would even continue lying to you. Instead of trying to move on to another topic, Cor sat with her for the next hour and a half and began sharing things that he had never told Trisha in their nearly 20 years of friendship. I feel like the true intention of the show isn't even entertaining the audience. It's maybe more meant as an inspirational, motivational kind of thing with some humor mixed in. There's something I need to come clean about. I knew what the trivia answers were going to be tonight, and I taught you them in advance without you knowing. I feel terrible about it, and I just, I'm sorry. I, I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucked this all up. <laughs> you you're an awful, awful person. You won't say it. I think it. you're a great guy. <laughs> now I'm actually kind of wondering if this was even true. If this really was just a real guy he helped. Or if it was all just a fictional story. Because it definitely has those vibes. Like helping this guy but not being able to help himself in that last scene there with him. That's definitely character development in the sense of drama. It's definitely a weird mix, this show overall. Part of it felt like actual drama. The tone overall was just so serious. But then part of it, this whole staged rehearsal, felt like classic Nathan for you. But the way he tried to help that guy felt like one of these shows where they meet random people to help them out of some kind of dilemma, like rebuilding a house or getting them out of financial debt or something like that, those kind of shows. It's a mix of those three things and it's just kind of confusing because you don't really know what it's supposed to be. 